everybody, what's going on? This is your boy Riverman from Behind the Mask. Zombie fans, this is the review for you. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about a Super 8 film called Dead Next Door. Dead Next Door, directed by J.R. Bookwalter, released back in 1989 for nothing. This movie was fucking a uh, shoestring budget. Um, they say it was a budget of $75,000, but I would be surprised. The gore, the practical effects, that's that's the whole budget right there. Other than that, the actors, the actors are horrible in this. The the writing's horrible in this. It was shot on a Super 8 camera, which is, uh, you know, you can, you can pick one up for cheap. You can pick one up at your local pawn shop and shoot on it. Uh, the voice was dubbed over. The funny thing was uh, Sam Raimi produced this film um, right after Evil Dead 2. He threw some money into this film. I think it was probably because of the practical effects and he wanted to get his name attached to it because he was like, whoa, I mean, this, this movie has something to it. Um, it was shot in Akron, Ohio with a zombie outbreak, and basically a zombie outbreak happens, and we get to know the zombie squad, which is kind of a cheap ripoff of Dawn of the Dead and the SWAT team. So basically this zombie squad goes around, you know, trying to eliminate zombies, protect people, uh, what have you, and uh, they come to run into a uh, kind of a religious cult and a crazy, crazy fucking preacher um, named Reverend Jones. Reverend Jones is his name, and basically Reverend Jones wants to protect the zombies. You see it in every zombie film where you have that one person... The one religious freak that wants to uh, to not kill. We must stop the killing or we lose the war type of BS. But, um, yeah, Rev Reverend Jones, of course, you know, tries to get in the way of the zombie squad and uh, they're whatever they got to do. But um, I would recommend this film if you're into zombie films. Okay, let me just say, if you're into low-budget zombie films, I would highly recommend this. If you're into, if you're just coming off of like Dawn of the Dead or Day of the Dead or anything great like that, I would not recommend it. But if you're into low-budget films, you're into Super 8, you're into 8mm films, anything like that, I would say about 15 years ago, I would not like this movie. I think I watched this movie with Red Rocket about 15 years ago or whenever it was, 10 years ago, and I freaking hated it, and I'm sure he did too, and um, now I really dig it because, I don't know, I, I really dig the low-budget low budget films right now, and uh, it just got to me. Um, I like the gore. The gore was exceptional. There was decapitation scenes. There was hand-cutting scenes where he chopped off the guy's fingers, you know, uh, blood spray. It was it was pretty pretty wild, pretty out there. So uh, give that a watch if you're into low budget horror. You know, horror, gruesome gore, whatever you want to call it. But um, I would say seven out of ten and Riverman scale. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, if you're coming off of Dawn of the Dead or you're huge uh, huge mainstream zombie zombie freaks i would stay away from it but um yeah you can pick this movie up on uh it was an anchor bay release back in 2005 and uh i'll just throw it up there for you yeah okay and it has a uh, deleted scenes it has a 20 minute featurette uh audio commentary with jr book walter few actors uh storyboards music videos um it's definitely worth the pick up if you're into it uh it's only it goes for about six to six to ten dollars on Amazon or wherever you want to find it. I found it at Best Buy, but I'm sure nowadays you won't be able to find it at Best Buy because Best Buy now sucks unless you go online and buy movies off of BestBuy.com. So, uh, yeah, seven out of ten. Zombie fans, check it out. This is Riverman from Behind the Mask.
presents. Check out the new website. The website should be coming soon. A few weeks, we'll have it up. If not, go to the podcast. Go to Behind the Mask Blogspot. Behind the Mask Podcast.blogspot.com. Sorry, guys. Um, Behind the Mask Podcast.blogspot.com. There you go again. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. This is Riverman from Behind the Mask signing out. Yeah.